Hey guys, what's up? John Wise here with JPW Productions. Uh, doing the pros and cons today of the new Bose L1 Pro 16 column array speakers. And we'll check that out and we'll get into it right after this. This is another, another JPW Productions. Guys, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Once again, today we are checking out the pros and cons of the Bose L1 Pro 16s. Number one, sound. The sound is amazing with these speakers. Plenty of low end for a wedding DJ like me. Um, they sound great, crystal clear. I mean, they'll make your eyes water. It's so clear. Everyone that's been at a, a guest at one of the weddings that we've used these at now just can't believe how clear it sounds. Uh, so the number one for sound, I give it five stars, top notch. Next up, we're gonna talk about build. Um, build is a little bit different than sound, my opinion on that. So as far as the quality of the build, it's a nice, clean, modern look, but as far as being a mobile DJ, I would like a little bit more rugged build. So um, for those of you that are familiar with the Evolve 50s, um, they're, they're built like a tank. The Evolve 50s are very hardcore grill, uh, just very, very um, sturdy and look like you could drop it down a flight of stairs and the thing will be fine. The Bose, on the other hand, a little bit more delicate. I wish it was a little bit more roadworthy. It's a plastic with a metal grill. Um, so it's not the best for gigging, I guess, but so far it's held up fine. But again, after a year or two of using these on the road and putting them in and out of the trailer and loading them on the cart. We'll see how they hold up. Um, the main column is all metal with a metal backing, so that's good. But the connector piece that raises it up is actually plastic. So I'm not too fond of that. Why couldn't they have made this metal too? So, And then the uh, sub is a racetrack sub, so it's not a circular. It's actually a racetrack. Um, it's, it's good, it's not too heavy at all, but it's got a really nice handle down there. So the handle's awesome, it's very deep. You can grab, it's easy for carrying. <coughs> but overall, I wish it was a little bit more rugged for gigging and like I said, packing, unpacking, putting in carts and stuff like that. So for overall build, as far as the quality for gigging in my business, I would give it like a three. I wish it was a little bit better, um, but three, that's all you get, sorry boys. Next up, we're talking about the coverage. So a typical DJ speaker that you buy, and this is just a general statement here, don't hold me to any of this, but overall, the average uh, coverage you get when you put up a traditional speaker on a stand, it's usually about 70 degrees, something like that, around 70, 80 degrees, maybe a little less. Um, with this speaker, it's insane. It's 180 degrees. So basically you put one on each side of your DJ setup and basically the whole room is covered with coverage. We did, the first night we used these was at a wedding in the venue I mentioned earlier. It was like an L-shaped almost and I had them on each side of me. And one of my guys, Drew actually, shout out to Drew, went all the way down to the corner of the room. So basically on a 90 degree angle of the speaker and my setup, while the father of the bride was giving his toast and you could hear him perfectly clear. So even on a 90 degree angle from the speaker in the corner of the room all the way at the other end, crystal clear. With my other speakers, traditional DJ speakers, you're not gonna have that. You have to turn them out to get kind of the coverage of the room. And even with that, you're gonna have gaps where people are like, we can't hear. With this speaker, you're not gonna have that issue. So if you set these up, put one on each side, just facing straight forward, that 180 coverage is gonna cover your entire room. So five stars for speaker coverage. It's just amazing the sound coverage they do, 180 degrees. If you don't believe me, Google it. All right, next up we're gonna talk, and I wanna talk directly to Bose cases. All the DJ speakers I've ever owned, QSC, multiple JBL models, they always come out with a nice padded cover. Bose dropped the ball on this one. This is probably one star. It's, it's, it's the worst review out of all the reviews I'm gonna give these speakers and that's on the bags and cases they make for them. They do make an entire enclosure case for the column on top and all that, but it's like the size of a harp. I mean, it's huge. If you had two of those, it would take up half your trailer space. So don't wanna buy those. Plus they're like 350 bucks for each case. So that's out of the question. I just want a nice padded cover for the uh, base unit. The one that comes with the column array that Bose gives you with the package is actually very nice. It's padded with handles. Um, so I really, really give them a thumbs up for the column 
bag. But as far as the sub bag, they drop the ball. They have one that they sell on their site. I think it's like 50 bucks. It's paper thin though. I mean, it just doesn't do anything other than keep the dust off of it. As far as padding, there's none. It's non-existent. Um, so I'm still researching. If you know of anybody that makes nice covers for the Pro 16s, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to get a nice set of covers for these. Um, but again, I ordered some uh, Gator bags. I've tried all the different sizes. Either they're too small or too big. So I'm looking for something that fits the bows perfectly. So if you know, let me know. But as far as overall, I think they really dropped the ball on the bags for this thing. So bows, sorry, you get one star for bags and pads. So there you have it, guys. My overall view of the bows L1 Pro 16s. I give them, I mean, other than the bags... And I wish they were built a little bit more rugged. Other than that, I mean, the sound quality is amazing. Um, the coverage for the room, 180 degrees, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, it's just the whole logistics of setting up a DJ system now. I used to run a speaker and put one at the far end just to get the coverage everywhere for toast and that. Because the last thing you just want is tables in the back of the room during speeches and stuff not being able to hear everything. So I was always cognizant of making sure I spread my speakers out, turn them the right way. These things, you set them up, one on the right side, one on the left side, and they're going to cover the entire room. It's amazing. So overall, I think they're an awesome speaker. Hopefully in next versions of this model, they'll make it more rugged. Hopefully they'll get some feedback and end up making it a little bit more rugged. That would be nice and better cases. But other than that, I highly recommend them. Again, I'm not a Bose fan at all. This is my first Bose speakers I've ever owned other than at home for my TV. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend them. Um, but don't take my word for it. Buy a pair, listen to them. If you got a buddy that owns a pair, borrow them and listen to them. Use them at a gig and you will be blown away. Um, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. I got more reviews coming up in the future. Um, and thanks for checking it out. Have a good day. Peace. Go, go away.